Hi guys, Adam with Snow Performance. Today we're going to do a little tech talk over the different stages of water methanol injection system we offer. Now contrary to popular belief, the stages actually don't relate to the horsepower that these controllers will support. They're actually going to relate to the sophistication of the control device. Now a lot of our water methanol injection systems are very similar. They're going to consist of a reservoir pump and nozzle. A lot of the change between our systems and stages is going to be the controller. So that's what we're going to touch on today. Go over all the controllers, let you know the applications they work best on so that you can be more informed when it's time to decide what system is going to be worked for you. So to start off, our Stage 1 controller is our very basic and economical package. This controller is just a hub, hub's pressure switch or a boost switch which is going to control when the system activates and deactivates. Now you can control the boost pressure it turns on and off at, but this is going to be an all or nothing operation. It's just an on off switch. This is going to be great for cars that are driven on the track mostly because you're either at idle or you're full throttle. So there's not a lot of middle ground there so you might as well have an all or nothing system. In addition, anything that has a uh, boost curve that's really sharp uh, is also going to benefit from a stage one system. If you don't really have a long boost ramp up, you might as well just switch it on. Uh, it, pretty much whenever you get on the throttle, you're going to be under boost, so there's not a lot of need for variation there. Now, speaking of variation, we're going to go into our stage two systems. Now, these are going to trump the stage one because they do vary injection. These are going to do a linear ramp up between two points that you select using a single data reference. Now, usually boost pressure is the best reference point to use for water methanol injection because boost is going to relate to heat generation and octane demand. So that's what we're going to want to track and inject based on. Now, two of our stage two boost controllers are going to be the VC20 and VC50. The VC20 is a very basic black box controller, easy to hide if you don't want a system that you can see. And it's just going to be adjusted using a simple boost nipple that goes to a pressure point and then two dials to select your boost start point and your boost full point. Now these controllers are going to do a linear ramp up between those two automatically. Anytime you reach the start point, it'll start injection. Anytime you go up to full, it's going to ramp up to full. Now the VC50 uses the exact same software but gives you a little bit more of a user friendly interface. It's going to double as a boost gauge. It's going to show you how the system is responding real time and it does have a variable colors to really customize the screen of that gauge to your dash cluster. This is going to be our most popular boost reference kit and for most people the stage 2 boost reference kit is exactly what they need for their car. Now we do have one last stage 2 kit. Now this rather than being boost reference is going to be our MAP MAP controller. Uh, the MAP or MAP sensor is what your car is going to use from the ECU to find out how much air is being pulled into the engine. Now this controller is actually going to tap into that signal and actually use your airflow signal to vary injection. Now this is great for normally aspirated vehicles that don't have a boost pressure for the controller to reference. It's also going to work really well for any normally aspirated vehicle that has nitrous on it because generally you're only going to hit the nitrous at high RPM when this system's already going to have the methanol injection ramped up. So this is great for any high compression, high performance, normally aspirated engine. Now we get a lot more performance uh, gains out of the water methanol from boosted applications, but really a high compression, uh, high heat engine is going to have a lot of benefit from getting water methanol on it. And that's where our stage two math map controller shines. Now moving on, we have our stage 3 controller. Now this is going to up the ante by using a two data point reference to control water methanol injection. This is going to use boost and fuel system load to create a 2D injection map, which gives you a lot more adjustability with how the water methanol responds to your car's demands. Now this uses an all-in-one controller where you actually will adjust all system parameters from this controller itself. It doesn't require any additional software or any laptops to be plugged in. You're going to use this two-button interface and all adjustments are going to happen right there. So you can actually sit in the driver's seat while driving the vehicle and fine-tune your system uh, between red lights even. Now this is a really, really simple way to get a lot of sophistication into your water methanol control system. This is going to be great for anybody who wants a little bit more sophistication than the stage 2 system but doesn't really want to go all into a uh, standalone laptop tuning software. So referencing the laptop tuning, that is going to come to our stage 4 system. Now this is going to use a two data point reference as well, just like the stage 3, except this isn't going to have a single uh, all-in-one controller. This is actually going to use a standalone fuel management style software and a laptop hookup to actually adjust all the parameters. Now what this does for us is allow you to really get a lot more deep into and a lot more uh, um, 
adjustability from your water methanol system because it allows you to go into each cell value and actually fill out that value so you don't necessarily always have an increasing trend like these controllers are going to give you. With the stage 4 you can actually have any pitch to your water methanol injection curve whether that be up or down as the boost in RPM rise. Now this is going to be great for tricky engines that are very hard to dyno tune and for anybody who really wants to dive into the water methanol world and really try to get the most out of their system and really enjoys that tuner aspect of it. Now that covers the entirety of our stage one, two, three, and four controllers. Now if you have any questions about which of these might be best for your application, feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email at tech at snowperformance.net. I'm Adam with Snow Performance and we'll catch you next time.